and former Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett. Mr. Bennett, thank you for joining us. And I want to start by asking you, you. should Prime Minister Netanyahu respond aggressively, measured, or should he not respond? We should do what America would have done if uh, 330 cruise missiles, uh, ballistic missiles, and UAVs were uh, hurled towards American uh, land, uh, some of them hitting. And uh, I'll just uh, mention that a seven-year-old uh, Arab-Israeli girl is fighting for her life uh, right now. So what would America do? That's what we need to do. So that means full force response. We're going to need to have a clever, uh, surprising, and decisive response. Um, look, I'm hearing about the incredible victory uh, that Israel uh, achieved yesterday versus Iran. Mm -hmm. I would define it differently. Indeed, it was an incredible success, phenomenal success in defense. Um, it, basically, we, we've managed to fend off and uh, protect against all the sorts of uh, weapons coming from all directions simultaneously. But you cannot uh, win wars by defense only. After incurring 330 hits and us not hitting back, back just blocking, uh, the only way Iran will think twice next time is uh, if they pay a very painful price. Meanwhile, President Biden reportedly told Prime Minister Netanyahu the U.S. will not back any counterattack against Iran. Is this the best stance for the U.S.? I'm not going to tell the U.S. what to do. Uh, Israel is not going to ask and never ask America to fight our wars. We're fully capable of uh, defending ourselves. I would say, though, uh, that for all, all your uh, viewers right now, we are fighting your war. We're fighting the war of the West, because make no mistake, if Iran goes nuclear and it's got these long range ballistic missiles that can reach Europe and later on, uh, it won't be that difficult to reach America. This is a, a global threat. And in fact, the number one global exporter of terror is the Islamic Republic of Iran. So we in effect are fighting the craziest regimes and, and the terror organizations on earth. And we do expect that uh, America stand behind us as it uh, has done in the past. We're allies and uh, that's how friends should treat each other. Well, Trey Yanks uh, just reported that Israel wants to form a regional coalition against Iran. What does it signal to you that Saudi Arabia and Jordan joined the U.S. and the U.K. in shooting down Iran's drones and missiles aimed at Israel? Uh, this is a very positive development. It's been in the, the works for several years now. As a prime minister of Israel, I uh, worked very hard with some regional players and with the United States on putting together what I call the Middle East Air Defense System, MEAD, which is a, a integrated air defense system where all for one and one for all, we can all identify uh, um, aerial targets and we can all uh, intercept them. That is vital. Look, ultimately, the Islamic Republic of Iran is despised by its own people. It's a corrupt and, uh, I would say, incompetent regime that is destined to collapse. Uh, we all need to work together to change the regime for the sake of the Iranian people and the sake of uh, global stability. Uh, this will happen. <laughs> Meantime, the situation in Gaza remains dire. Does this unprecedented attack on Israel from Iran have any bearings on how any bearing on how Israel and the IDF should proceed in Gaza? It does, because uh, Gaza, Hamas, and the, and the Islamic Jihad are arms of an octopus of terror whose head is in Tehran, and it sends its tentacles all around the Middle East, to Iraq, to Syria, to Lebanon, uh, and basically it's, it's sort of a, an axis of misery. Everything it touches fails, but also becomes terror. Uh, and if we want to fight back, we have to fight back the entire octopus of terror, uh, both its arms, whether it's in Gaza or in Lebanon with Hezbollah, or its head, which is in Tehran. And I think we ought to do this together as an alliance. Israel is strong, but uh, we, we definitely need partners for this. 
Former Prime Minister of Israel, Naftali Bennett, thank you very much for joining us, sir. Thank you very much.